Well, my precious YouTube family, here it is, July 1st, and no rapture in June. Oh, I think all of us are just a little bit disappointed, but I've noticed that the Lord has given us an unusual peace and patience. Uh, I know that we've had a tremendous amount of peace, not even the least bit of anxiety about Him not coming in June. And all I can say is that we all sense very strongly that things are about to break loose very soon. So uh, taking that into account, I wanted to share with you some things that the Lord gave us tonight, some feedback on our situation and not hearing from Him. <laughs> he made it pretty clear tonight. It was really sweet of Him because it helps to clarify exactly what He's doing. When we understand what he's doing, we tend not to get insecure about it. We can go with the flow and rest in him and appreciate that very much. Tonight, when I spent a couple of hours with him, I just wanted to be there for him, and he was very present to me, yet very quiet. I saw myself in my wedding gown a couple of times, and he was dressed in formal attire as well. I told Ezekiel, who was praying, backing up, uh, praying back up for me, which he always does, that I felt I needed to move on to a teaching after, I guess, a couple of hours. He asked me to wait a little longer, so I stayed and lingered with the Lord. I asked the Lord if he was going to speak to me. I asked the Lord if he was going to speak to me. And I prayed a binding prayer over the Bible promises that no demons could get into my readings and open the book to humility. I know what that means. <laughs> Basically, no. Lay down with it. That's pretty much a, a cut and dried answer for me. Then Ezekiel said that he thought I should move on with the teaching. He asked if the Lord was going to speak with me and he went to his own Bible promises and got lust. And basically, when he gives us that particular reading, he's saying, you're thinking with your fleshly mind. You're not thinking in the spirit. So that's what he means by lust, that we're in the flesh by thinking that, which is kind of what I felt. You see, he's doing something here. And for us to interfere by thinking any other way except in agreement with him would get in the way of what he's trying to do. And Ezekiel asked, about me doing a teaching in the open to joy, help in troubles, and Holy Spirit. Now, the help in troubles Ezekiel felt was that something really bad is going to happen really soon. And he asked Holy Spirit about that, and again, he opened the Bible promises to Holy Spirit. So, things are brewing. Uh, they're definitely brewing. And we're going to be facing pretty horrendous times here in the fairly near future. Oh yes, and he also, when he was uh, praying over help and troubles, the Lord gave him uh, the scriptures about the rapture and eternal life in the Bible promises. So there's going to come a time of a troubled time and then right after that the rapture, which is what we've all been preparing ourselves for I think the Lord's been very consistent about that, at least on our channel. One of our YouTube family wrote in about my last video, The Calm Before the Storm. And this is what she had to say. And I'm, <laughs> I'm ashamed to say somehow it got erased, so I'm going to have to paraphrase from memory. I don't know how it got deleted. But I remember this part. The truth be told, and this is about... Uh, not receiving a prophetic word from the Lord every single night and the Lord withholding that from us. The truth be told, we are all spoiled. A word from the Lord every day for weeks? And yes, we get addicted, but I can see he doesn't want that. There comes a time to start using what you've been taught. When that time comes, you have to let them fly or flounder. You can't stand by and hold our hands. We have to learn to walk on our own. 
And that's exactly to a T what Carol and I had, and Ezekiel and I had all uh, discussed earlier in the evening. It was time to set aside the prophetic words that I've been feeding you and giving you, and for you to get your own words from the Lord and use the tools that uh, He's given us to share with you. And later on in her letter, she said, "Um, most folks are really clueless. She was walking her dog. She lives in New York City. And most folks are really clueless. In fact, when it all hits the fan, it will likely be some of us who have to take the lead and calm others down. We are some of the very few who know what is really going on. The other little chickadees have to realize that they will probably be responsible for more than a few confused and almost comatose companions. Nobody will be holding our hands, but we might be holding a few others. And that's what we're supposed to do. She continues, Why do you think the Lord spends so much time explaining things to us? Because when the time comes, we may have to gather up a bunch of crazy people and move fast. I am sure that he has plenty of angels in place, but I'm betting that he knew how crazy everything and everyone would be, and he made certain that he had some well-trained help, boots on the ground, when things got tough. Now, what did we just talk about in a recent video? This is my remark now. Didn't we say that the bride is beautiful on the battlefield, and we had a picture of a bride lacing up her boots? (laughs) Well, no, I didn't use that image, actually, but that was one of the images I was going to use. It was a, a bride with boots on, and like combat boots with her bridal gown. I continue with her letter. I just finished praying, and I asked Jesus if something happened and I got killed before he could get here, could he just put me back together in heaven? <laughs> I opened my promises book, just like a good teacher taught me to, and I looked right at God's protection. Wow, that's a wonderful heading in the Bible Promise book. But although he wants to save our souls for heaven, I think that he is also hoping that we can save a few more at the last minute. That makes a lot of sense to me. It makes sense to me too. I mean, we're going to know what's going on when no one else does. She continues, I know that I would feel terrible if I discovered that Jesus had not gone to get every last soul he could because he felt that we couldn't make it without a message from him every day. I am more than happy to take a splinter of the cross and give up my messages in order to ensure that there's a chance to save more souls. I know that I'll be very weepy, but it's a small price to pay for saving souls or to increase his ability to bestow grace where and when it's needed the most. Things are going to get very hairy soon, but we knew this. We always knew it. I think that it's possible a couple of folks thought they'd get their hands held the entire time. But that's never been your job. We'll do our best to shore each other up and take things step by step. Probably pray a lot and look forward to seeing you and Ezekiel upstairs when things quiet down. And who knows, you may still get the opportunity to make a couple more videos. (laughs) Amen to that. Well, here we are, one more in the works. So, you know, to sum all this up, uh, the Lord basically is calling us to get our own words now and using the Bible promises. He's calling for you to do that. And he's not speaking to us because he wants you to listen to him and you to speak to him and get your own words. And I think that's really exciting because that means he's going to speak to us. He's going to give us that grace to receive a personal word, a personal rhema from him. And uh, the other thing that's in the background, again, that we're feeling is there's something is brewing. Something is brewing and something is going to break. And when it breaks, will we be prepared? Will we be standing and able to help the people around us? That's what we're working on right now. That's been the whole purpose of the Lord's time of teaching us about how to get our own word, how to stand in prayer, 
and how to get our reality into him and not into the world that's going to crumble so we would be ready to help him when the time comes. So the Lord bless you family and there'll be another video tomorrow night. I'm going to introduce you to one more method of getting a reading from the Lord and I think it's going to be really really helpful. That is if he doesn't come before then. <laughs> The Lord bless you. Pray for us, and we pray for you every day.